On the 13th of September, 1983, Delbert Baker was murdered in the beauty parlor he owned and ran in Polk County, Florida. He was shot three times and had his throat slashed before being robbed of almost $10,000 worth of jewelry. A few months later, Puerto Rican migrant worker Juan Melendez, who could not read or write English, was picking fruit on a farm in Pennsylvania when he was arrested for the crime by the FBI and extradited to face trial in Florida. An acquaintance with a criminal record allegedly claimed a $5,000 reward by telling police that Juan was the killer. Juan was unable to follow most of what was said in his trial, where he was found guilty and sentenced to death. After 17 years on death row, a tape confession was found from a man who had since died, saying that he was at the murder scene and that Juan was not present and had no involvement in the crime. Prosecutors possessed the tape statement before the trial, but it never was presented to the jury. Juan was awarded a retrial and released in 2002. I did not know the, the victim, never been in his place of business, never know who he was. I only heard about him when I got arrested. They find him in a pool of blood, his throat was slashed, shot three times. It was a horrible crime. They had a, a reward for this, for, for this. a $10,000 reward, that's what I hear. David Falcon was what you call, what they call in the streets, a, a snitch, a police informant. They willing to take the stand and testify falsely against anybody. I was not an acquaintance of him, but I know of him, he know of me. This man had a record of snitching all around the states. And I think it's some document that say that David Falcon got $5,000 for testifying against me. The details he gave, it was details already known to the general public, to all the news media. He said that I, that I told him I shot him with a 38 car, caliber pistol. The papers already saying that the man was shot with a 38 caliber pistol. He said that I stripped the man out of, 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 his, of his jewelry. The paper already saying that the man was stripped out of his jewelry. In other words, everything he say against me, it was information already known he never gave no inside information that only the perpetrator and the police know. When David Falcon went to the police with this information, he also implicates a friend of mine. They charged him with the murder. He was threatened with the electric chair. He was scared. So uh, he lied. He said that uh, he took me to the scene of the crime, dropped me off came an hour and a half later, picked me up again, don't know what happened. That's all they needed. They needed somebody to corroborate David Falcon's testimony. My trial was basically decided by, by two questionable witnesses, no physical evidence against me. The judge said, uh, you're being convicted for first degree murder, and, and I'm robbery, and then uh, they decided that I should be, should, should be put, put, put to death. They throw me in a, in a six by nine foot cell. The place was dark, and, and it also was infected with rats and roaches. In my mind, I'm thinking, they're killing people every, every week. How long is it going to be? before they get me. So uh, 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 I got super scared. I was scared all the time. The worst thing for me was when they execute someone. And my time, it was the electric chair. So I can hear this, uh, uh, uh. The lights flip on and off because the electricity are going to the chair. So you know exactly the time when they're burning the life out of him and you cannot stop it. After 16 years, they found a take confession of the real killer. They did an investigation. In the end, they even found physical evidence against the real killer. They gave me $100, a pair of pants, and a t-shirt. 
and they never apologize to me. The testimony of pay informants can, can put innocent people in prison. If they're going to rely on a snitch, they should have corroborated evidence. Whatever he say, investigate it. Try to have something that corroborates what he's saying. It's very dangerous. And innocent people get, 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 get messed up with, with police informant uh, testimony all the time.